Hey there, it's Tank Girl, and I have another unboxing for you tonight, and this is the Sprint Reclaim, which was lent to me by Sprint, uh, together with an HTC Touch Pro, uh, because they couldn't get me an HTC Hero to review. So, um, this um, is a green phone, and I just don't mean by the color, I mean by the fact that they try to use environmentally friendly technology and packaging and materials when building this device. Um, so as you can see the box is kind of large which is a bit kind of counterintuitive for a green product but it's made of recycled hard 40 type material and inside here is the phone and the manuals and the phone itself is very green. And it's a slider with a QWERTY keyboard. Here's the keyboard. Feels okay. And I don't think it has a touch screen, and I don't think it's a smartphone. Um, let's see what else is in the box. There is the manuals here, which is also looked like it was printed in a special recyclable material type paper. Um, this is um, small, which is good, Man but still, I, I, you know, I have to kind of question, why do we still have manuals ship with our phones? Seems kind of silly to me, but... All right, more packaging, and more packaging, and I think this is the battery, yep. And so, that's what we have so far, and finally, the charger which is micro USB it looks like which is cool because that's actually using a standard not some kind of proprietary connector like Samsung likes to do so let's see here's what we got the phone, the charger, the battery, the manuals and the manuals and there's an SD card adapter here I think the card is actually in the phone already so let's have a quick look at the phone. It's got the QWERTY keyboard. It's a slider. Oh, wait, there's the camera. Two megapixel fixed focus, maybe? I don't know. Probably is fixed focus. And under the battery cover here is just the battery. Let's see. Let's put that in there. Yep, this way. And let's see what's on the sides here. We've got, let me try this. We've got, I think this is a headphone jack. Ooh, it looks like it's a standard headphone jack. That's pretty cool for um, kind of a mid-range device. Volume up and down buttons. Nothing at the bottom but the microphone. Uh, I think this is a camera button right here. Yeah, and judging from the feel of it, it's not, it doesn't have autofocus. Let's see. Let me try to open this with one hand. It's going to be tricky because I don't have any nails right now. Um, there we go. There's one and there's the other. Two doors. All right micro USB and the SD card slot. Let's see, is there an SD card in here? Yep. Five twelve mags. What is this? Nineteen ninety five? Interesting. Um of course I'm exaggerating. There was no SD cards in nineteen ninety five. Well, not micro SD anyway. I don't think there were any SD cards in 1995. Um, since I'm unable to slide that in there right now, I'm going to just give you a tour of the phone. Yep. Just looks like a pretty standard Samsung to me. Let's turn it on. See if I can slide this in there. Ah, 
I got the card back in. Lucky me. The screen is nice and bright. So, yeah, I don't know. I'll play with it. Um, you know, I don't generally review non-smartphones, especially feature phones. But I'll try it out and let you know what I think. Anyway, this is Tank Girl. Uh, check out my blog, Tank Girl Mobile, tnkgrl.wordpress.com. And I'm probably in a few weeks when I get around to it. I will give this guy a little mini review. I'm not big on CDMA phones either, as you probably already know from reading my blog. So, but you know, it'll be interesting to see what they've done to make this phone a green phone. Oh, and another thing I want to say, say that was kind of ironic is when the Sprint person gave me this phone review, she probably told me that. They gave away this phone to all the attendants of the G20 conference, and I thought to myself, okay, yeah, that's the same conference a lot of my friends went and protested at. So I just thought it was kind of ironic. But anyway, I'll keep you posted. Cheers.